Jason M. So you've just got your Android device rooted and you don't know what to do next, then this video is for you. Some tweaks are specific only to Sony devices, but most of them aren't. The list of these will be down in the description of course. This is not going to be an in-depth tutorial. For this you obviously need root access and the exposed framework. First on the list is the 20 megapixel superior auto. This helps you take higher resolution shots either at 15 or 20 megapixels while on superior auto mode in your Xperia camera. And you can actually choose different resolutions in the app. It's an exposed framework module. I decided to choose the one with 20 megapixel and 15. My preference is usually 15, quite like 59. The next is Blurred UI. Blurred UI helps you blur your recent apps panel. As you can see, it blurs the background and also blurs the status bar, the notification bar pull down. The next is flat styled bar indicators, which change your Wi Fi data and battery indicators for you. And it makes them actually really stylish and it's very customizable. I like them. The next is flat style colored bars, which actually tints your navigation bar. This changes the status bar to the action bar of the app and it makes it very beautiful, it makes a whole new color design which is introduced in Android 5.0. The next is Gravity Box. Gravity Box is actually a bunch of really helpful tweaks, it has a lot of tweaks and one of them I like is changing the orientation of just your volume rocker so when it's in landscape it just respects that. Also turning off your device by double tapping the status bar which is actually very handy. It has many tweaks so just get to that. Max Lock or oh, is an app that helps you lock apps. Um, usually, if you have a lock, if you have an app on your device and you want to lock it, this is actually a best option for you because it doesn't drain your battery and it's not slow. It acts very quickly. The next one is Screen of Animations. This has actually a bunch of many animations. It has so many animations inside, and you can just choose how your screen goes off or on, just depending on your taste, depending on what you like. The next one here is swipe back and swipe back just adds a swipe back gesture in such a way that once you swipe back from any app it takes you back to the page where you were. The next one is just um, an Xperia module which is usually for Sony devices helps with simple tweaks on Sony Xperia devices like swiping down with one finger to pull down the notification from the right to pull down your toggles and double fingers to pull down all the toggles on the device and all the sliders. The next one is external, very good for changing your status bar icons, but I didn't change my status bar icons, also changes your nav bar icons like I did there. I changed my nav bar icons, which is really, really nice. I like the way that one works. It's very good. And yeah, a bunch of them, so many of them that you can choose from, all depending on your choice. The prime version as you more, of course, as this is how development goes for this. You can also clear up your recent panel like I did here. You can see I have a translucent recent panel by using any root on installer app of your choice titanium or wooden installer you just need to remove the apps that you can see on the display there remove those apps and everything will be done i hope you guys like this video that's all for my tweaks just many of them and i hope you guys really liked it if you like the video hit the thumbs up button and i'll come back with many more tweaks like this for you guys who knows in a video next time maybe so see you guys later